Okay, so I'm a mess right now, and I was actually going to shower, even though it's almost 3 o'clock, but the water was all cold, so... No luck. But this being a mess kind of made me want to talk about something that I've really been wanting to talk about for a while anyway. So... There. A lot of the time, I think of myself as ugly, and... I don't think that that's a bad thing. A lot of the time it's just something that I can accept and be cool with and get on and I can just be okay with it. Just like a lot of overweight people don't want to be told that they're not fat, I don't want to be told that I'm not ugly. I don't want to call myself unconventionally pretty. I am happy a lot of the time to think of myself as ugly. I think ugliness only becomes a problem when you let it get in the way of your life and of living. I can't say that I've never let that happen, but it's something that I'm dealing with and I'm generally okay with. When my appearance really gets to me and I'm feeling really gross about it, I try to remember a few things. One is that I am beautiful in some way because I'm a living thing, and I think living things, to me at least, have some inherent beauty. There was an interview with Johnny Depp a long time ago, which I saw on YouTube somewhere, and I think he was asked something like, what is your greatest turn on? And he said, breathing. He might have just been saying that to be funny or whatever, but it's kind of true. There's something really sexy and really beautiful about being alive. And when you think about being alive and you put that into perspective and you just think about the smallest and the biggest thing, just breathing, prettiness seems to become so insignificant and just tiny, tiny. So one way I console myself is by reminding myself that I am beautiful because I am alive, because I am breathing, and that is amazing. Another way that I console myself or deal with it is by putting things, again, into perspective. I think about the universe, and I think about human beings as a species, and how actually ridiculous we look. Other mammals have fur, and they've got four legs, and they have some kind of really elegant gait, or... I mean, even cows just seem like kind of magical beings. Whereas humans are covered in hair, but you can't see most of it. You just see, like, stuff that comes out of their heads randomly. We've got these facial features that are just, like, very strange. Even when looking at beautiful people, if you look at them long enough, it just starts to look, like, ridiculous. To me, at least, we don't have this elegance or majestic beauty as a species that lions have or birds or anything. When you put it into this perspective, it, everything just seems absurd. It's not absurd to recognize that you're not the way that a lot of other people look, but it's absurd when you waste too much time on it, when you look at the perspective of being part of this kind of silly looking species on this planet, in this solar system, in this universe that is huge and contains life forms that we haven't even encountered yet and that are completely foreign to us. I think about that and then I come back to my face in the mirror and god, I wish I just had cheekbones or some kind of facial definition. It's... it's tiny. Another thing that goes along with the breathing and the living is that we are living creatures, which means that we're not just alive, but we're doing things. Even when we're not consciously trying or aware of things, we're breathing. And when you actually do things other than that, when you get out and you're doing stuff, and when you're really engaged and excited in something, I feel like the last thing that I care about is how I look. I never want to get into this place where I feel like what I look like is more important than what I do. And it seems like it's a lot easier to let myself not do anything and to hold back because I don't feel that I have a certain appearance for some reason that, that exempts me from having to do things or it makes me any less capable, but it doesn't. It might make it harder and and it might take work on my part, but being beautiful is not an accomplishment, and being ugly doesn't have to stop you from making accomplishments. I talked about the show My Mad Fat Diary the other day, but I didn't touch on one of the main basic reasons that I really love it, because I just didn't feel I had enough time and it didn't fit in the video. But basically, that show is just this grand statement, and a work of art, showing that you can be fat, or you can be ugly, or you can be whatever it is that you are, and you can still live, and you can still find happiness, and you can still be hopeful, and you can make relationships, and have friends, and have lots of fun, and 
be a good human being and grow and be happy and do the things that you want to do. And that means a lot to me. I don't think that we get that message enough, or when we do get it, it's coming from the people who are already seen as really pretty, so it, does, it just doesn't have the same effect on me. That show has given me a lot of inspiration. There's a quote from Kristen Stewart, at which I'm sure tons of other people have said, which is just, it's okay to not be okay. And I think that's one of the great things of the show, is that it lets you know that it's okay to not be okay, but also that it's okay to be okay, and that you can just be okay. You don't have to be beautiful to be okay. You don't have to be pretty to be okay. You don't have to be skinny to be okay. You don't have to have muscles to be okay. You don't have to have anything. You can just be you, and you can be okay with that. And you don't have to be okay with that all the time, and you can still struggle with it, but you can still find some kind of acceptance and love and happiness for yourself, and that is huge. <laughs> the first episode of My Mad Fat Diary is just really fantastic, too, because it deals with all these insecurities about her body, and you think that the character Rey is gonna cave into it and she's gonna relapse and just let her insecurities about her body take over, but she doesn't. And she just has fun, and she laughs, and she does things, and she doesn't let it get in the way of her living. And that is what I think we need to be reminded of more, and what I try to remember whenever I get dragged down by the mirror, or when I notice myself watching myself from within whenever I'm out somewhere. I can be things, and I can do things, and I don't have to let my body or my insecurities about it get in the way of what I really want. And sometimes I feel beautiful, and I think that's an important thing to recognize too, that whether anyone else can see me that way, that I can, and ultimately feeling beautiful or feeling ugly can feel like the same thing, as long as you don't feel like either one of them has to get in the way of what you can do and of who you can be, because they shouldn't and they don't, and that is something that I am trying to remember always.